What's up, my fellow Night Dwellers? Couch Command here, and we're doing another five amazing mods. This time, we're taking a look at the mods for Generation Zero. Please name for the fuel tank and destroy that like button. Comment on which mod you thought was the best, and subscribe for more weekly modding content. Now, let's jump into it. Hey, you there. Yeah, you. Do you like loot? No, no. Do you like loot? Like, do you really, really like loot? Well, loot will be spawning. Yeah, I didn't make the title, but that is the title. It's got you covered. The normal loot respawn time for Generation Zero is four hours. Loot will respawning decreases its time from four hours to 10 seconds. So you can go through, loot all of this stuff here. Wait for 10 seconds. Come back, and it is all back for looting again. And just show it is looted, you can notice the whole open box there. And you can repeat this as many times as your little loot goblin heart desires. Just keep going until, you know, you finally scratch that itch or you run out of inventory space. Whichever comes first. You're going to run out of inventory space. I know it. It's okay. I understand. This next pod partners extremely, extremely well with uh, Chipriano's Loot Will Be Respawning. This mod is by Vanillon. It's called No More Encumbrance. And it doesn't actually remove encumbrance. You'll notice I still have a weight limit here of 64 pounds. What this does, if I go over here and just... Actually, we'll just take it all. You'll notice I am at 82 pounds, 90 pounds, 100 plus pounds. We're going for, I think we might hit 200. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, just shy, just shy. Anyways, we're now at 200 pounds and we can move, sprint, run like normal. We're still showing red as we are heavily over encumbered. It's just this mod removes all the negative effects of encumbrance. So you can loot every little item you possibly could desire, fill up, well, there is no inventory space, it's a weight-based system. So you can fill up all of your gear, have it all on you at any given time, and you're never going to get slowed down. You can always run. You ever want a little additional help as far as Generation Zero goes? Get tired of all the robots being able to spawn these little annoying minions that run after you, try to blow you up. Kind of wish you had your own horde of random bots you could send after them in return. Chipperino has got you covered with the Spawn Machines mod. There's a couple of different options for this. The one I'm demoing right now is the... You drop an ammo box, boom box, or... I can't remember the other ones. But basically, once you drop it, it makes an ammo box on the ground. Inside the ammo box, you can search it. That one's already searched, apparently. Inside the ammo box, you can search it, and you can grab gnome and tick pods out of it. You can go into your inventory then and set the gnome or tick pods into your quick slot. And then you can just deploy as many as you want. And they will just charge your enemies for you. Running and detonating upon impact. The downside to them, as if you noticed, I am really, really, really overweight now. At 248 pounds. So if you're going to use the 1000 tick pods, Either put yourself near your storage where you can actually offload a good chunk of them, or go with the no encumbrance mod by Van Holland, Van Lynn. Yeah, Van Lynn. And that way you can carry as much as you want. But they're actually relatively effective at dropping some of the machines, and you do not have to necessarily engage in combat. It will alert the enemy to your presence the second you spawn them, but... Outside of that, if you can keep yourself behind cover, they'll do a lot of the work for you. But yeah, that is the Spawn Machines by Chipperino. 
Who hates the grind of leveling up your skills? You have to spend so long killing a variety of enemies. Going through all these missions, doing all this stuff to gain XP just to get your skills leveled up. So you can get those few points into the things you actually want to be able to have some decent actual power to your character. Well, no more wait, no more grind. Reed Kerrigan's got you covered with unlimited skill points. Once you've got this mod, all you do is go to your character, go to your skills, and you have infinite skills to buy. You'll notice skill point infinite down there at the bottom. And you can just drop them all on whatever you want. So you can go from zero to hero in about as fast as you can click. For me, it looks to be about, I'd say a minute to unlock everything from level, I think I was level two coming into this, maybe level three, to being fully maxed out with everything just that easily. And now your character is officially the baddest person in the robot apocalypse. Congratulations. You'll still level up like normal. It's just you won't get skill points anymore because you really don't need them. Well, your skill points will always stay infinite. But yeah, that's Unlimited Skill Points by Reed Kerrigan. So this is the type of mod you're going to find in almost every single game. It is generic because it is... Well... It eliminates the grind aspects. Everybody wants the best guns, the best bullets, the best everything they can possibly get their hands on right from the start without actually having to go through any of the grind. They want to merc things. They want to be the god of the game. Spawn Loop Fix by Kayabala gives you that advantage. For this, you're just going to throw down a boom box. And it's going to create an ammo crate instead of a normal boom box. Inside the ammo crate, you're going to have... All of the ammo recipes in the game, or at least the majority thereof, you're going to have level five weapons as far as level five. Actually, yeah, a level five assault rifle, level five RPG, level five sniper. The biggest thing to note is you're going to have 1000 packs of all the different ammo. Explosive rounds, BMG, car, medical ammo, radioactive ammo, you name it, all there. These are, again, the blueprints. You'll also have stuff for actually building your own base, like consumable crafting stations, low lanterns, apparel stations. And you've got a couple of attachments for the guns that you're going to be using. And a crap load of wood. Because who doesn't need more wood in the game, right? So from this, you're welcome to take whatever you want. I would highly, 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 highly recommend... Notice at least three highlies. You be close to your loot box whenever you're doing this because you're going to get overweight real quick light. I do wish they would add a pistol to this. That is the only major downside. But with all the other stuff in it, it really just... It makes your... Pretty much like an end of game badass boss already just five seconds into the game. Downside is you have so much stuff you can't move. If you're going to use this and you don't have or you're too far away like I am, you can just load up the encumbrance mod real quick and you'll be able to drop all this stuff off. It parties pretty well with it. Honestly, the encumbrance mod is just kind of a good idea to have as far as any of the large item generation stuff goes. Yeah, that is Spawn Loop Fixed by Kayabola. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any suggestions on other games or mods that you'd like to see on the channel, please message me on Twitter at CouchCommand, that's CouchCMD. Don't forget to snipe that like button to instantly detonate one robot. Leave a message down in the comments on which mod is best at fighting the robot invasion. Finally, hit the subscribe button so you can get more of my weekly modding content. This was CouchCommand. You all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and an amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.